presidential election heads into the final three weeks. Opinion polls suggest that Kamala Harris has a slight lead over Donald Trump nationally, but that they are still neck and neck in the crucial swing states that will decide the outcome, with Donald Trump gaining some ground there in the past week or so. Over 160 million people are registered to vote across the United States. But the result is likely to come down to the results in those seven key battleground states that could go either way. One of them is Wisconsin, where in 2020, Joe Biden beat Donald Trump by only 22,000 votes. Kamala Harris took her campaign to Milwaukee, Wisconsin's biggest city last night. Turnout will be the key in this blue wall state where every vote counts. Our Washington correspondent, Sean Whelan, has sent this report from Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a mostly rural state, lined on one side by the expanse of Lake Michigan. For Kamala Harris, conditions are a bit rough here. Milwaukee, the big city in the state, is the key battleground for Democratic votes. The vice president is beginning her day in Milwaukee here at a business school to address some students, but a group of Palestinian protesters have got here before she did and the police aren't very happy about it. Over the next hour, the police surrounded the protesters with cars, creating a steel gauntlet through which the vice president's motorcade passed to enter the business school. A planned meeting with business students was then closed to the press, the vice president instead making a statement about the death of the leader of Hamas in Gaza. Israel has a right to defend itself, and the threat Hamas poses to Israel must be eliminated. So, would the students vote for her? Absolutely. I think most black men would. Kamala Harris. Why? Um, mainly reproductive rights. I would vote for Kamala Harris. Why? Um, reproductive rights. I was probably going to vote for uh, Donald Trump. At the Democrats' campaign office in North Milwaukee, staff and volunteers are prepping for a push they know is all about turnout, not issues. We just need to get everyone out from from all from all categories to uh, to go out and and vote in the election and ideally of course vote for Kamala Harris. A key group in securing Joe Biden's narrow win were black voters. Barack Obama told black men last week they had to support Harris. Great, said this Republican staffer. Well, that was by the far the worst thing you could have said because black males already feel like no one listens to them or no one cares about what they have to do, what, what they think or what they struggle with until it's election time. So I think that helps us out a lot. Yes, there are going to be some, uh, some, some differences between how black men and black women vote. You will have people who, who do think that Donald Trump is a better candidate for them. They might be thinking about small business ownership or they just like his personality. They could be sexist. But I think that uh, sentiment is overblown. I think that the narrative around that is overblown. Joe Biden beat Donald Trump by just over half of one percentage point in the last election. This one could be just as close and go either way. Shortly than RTE News, Milwaukee.